Hey again, everybody. It's me, your Generation 1 host, Victor, and this is PopCon. Salute to all pop culture, but... That's right, mostly the 80s. In a fervent effort to complete my adult collecting goal on this toy shelf, you know there's something I lack. A lot of my favorite film franchises made in the 1980s. Now, I got one over there in that corner. I do have my Alien franchise um, kind of represented. And when I represent my live action or movie uh, franchise favorites, I do it in a very different way than I do my cartoons and toy lines. I don't need an entire cast of characters or a playset. I just need something, one thing, something that represents that love of those films that, although debuted in the most fantastic era of cinematic masterpieces, the 1980s, they still live today. The franchises, the IPs, they still go on and on and on. And I got some favorites and I needed to represent. But just how do I do it? Well, that came over Christmas and under my tree, I not only got some great representation of my favorite film franchises from that decade, but I got them in the best way possible. Something that represents me, represents PopCon, yes, in Transformer form. This is pretty cool. This is from the collaborative line. These crossover Transformers with those uh, fantastic films um, are the only way I could represent these favorite film franchises of mine. So I got Gigawatt and I've got uh, Ectotron. I've got Ectotron and I've got Gigawatt right here. Transformers reminiscent of the original G1 Transformers and they're perfect to represent these. So I'm really excited to open these. Let's take a look under their hood and get them on the toy shelf. Obviously the DeLorean from Back to the Future. Gigawatt is shown in classic Generation 1 Transformers box with the graphic design of the robot as well as the steps to transform him. The logo for the 2020 collaborative has the DeLorean as well as a little flux capacitor on it. In the back's unique because it has some artwork of the DeLorean itself with the Back to the Future 35th anniversary logo as well as the strange license plate Back to the Future 2. The tech specs are an homage to the original and has his function as time traveler and includes a couple of extra skills. The photograph on one side of the box, the other side is a piece from the film when we see the DeLorean first revealed coming out of the truck along with the date. Now here for Ectotron is the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. Very similar packaging, including the steps uh, to transform. You see some slime here and on this logo of 2019. There is a 2020 version. We'll talk about that a little later. Having the Ghostbusters symbol and its 35th anniversary, we see the photographs of the robot and vehicle mode, but the back is a complete beautiful recreation of the Generation 1 original card back art for the Transformers. Nothing Ghostbusters here, even mentioning the 35th anniversary of our favorite robots in disguise his function paranormal investigator well as you can see they got some amazing packaging and i do love how when i opened this at christmas i was like oh my gosh are these originals but then i realized they're just in that g1 or generation one style but the boxes are great the window box they have them in the car or the vehicle mode a lot of transformers nowadays do have them come in their robot mode but this was kind of neat seeing them that way uh harkens back to the original so not talking about the box much anymore this is gigawatt with two t's it is the delorean uh in uh crossovered into a uh Transformers. Is that even correct grammar? It is a Transformer version of uh, the DeLorean. So let's open it up, see what's inside, and um, and go from there. We're going to get a closer look, as you know, but I want to go ahead and open the box. Well, that's interesting. This is cool. See this right here that shows um, the vehicle backing out of the truck? The actual side panel comes down that way like I'm just tearing it apart. Just like that, there you go. And then you can roll it on down. Okay, so let's see. Uh, is there anything in there I need? It's really just the, ah yes. Inside the box is the instructions. So we definitely will have to use that when it comes to transformation. Uh, all right, so we'll set that aside for now. Here it is inside the blister card. Um, honestly, see one plastic tie, which is good. And, uh, make this really easy for us right so click it off there I can then pop that out there is the DeLorean so like I told you if this is representing back to the future for me I probably will have it in the car mode just knowing that it's a transformer which really helped but uh, really you know goes along with my aesthetic but you see it here looking pretty good looks like the vehicle a lot of uh, pieces and parts a lot of uh, uh, sculpt that uh, lends itself to the Back to the Future time machine. Now, it does come with a lightning rod 
that will uh, hook on to the back of the vehicle. Of course, this lightning rod is going to uh, be reminiscent of the finale of Back to the Future Part 1. So he does have that as well as... Oh, now this is funny. I see a blaster, right? So he needs a gun. He needs a weapon. He has a blaster right here. But the funny thing about the blaster is pop the back off. It becomes a Mr. Fusion, which is, of course, able to snap onto the back of the vehicle. And um, it's going to suddenly take uh, its appearance from the DeLorean in Back to the Future 2, where it runs on trash and other um, other uh, products that you you know throw away refuse. So that is a very cool little feature. You can have it in this mode, and then you can add it to the weapon itself. Very cool. So that is the DeLorean vehicle out of the box. Um, I'll go ahead and keep that box right there. And let's go right into this buddy. This is Ectotron. So um, the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters, of course. The Ectotron. Now, um, I think I, I may have mentioned it, but this is the 2019. There is a 2020 version of this, and he does come in a... Uh, he comes in his robot form, and that has an Ecto-1 that's more rusty and old and worn out. It actually has a different face sculpt as well, and that's for in honor of the new uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife. But I'm very happy that uh, Santa brought me this one, which is more reminiscent of the original 1984 uh, original Ghostbusters the movie so we're gonna go ahead and pop this one open as well this time I'm not gonna struggle with that and I will just use my scissors so I open the side of the box pull this out this way it is over there um, it does have the instructions as well in the back behind the case uh, pop it out that way we don't we certainly don't need that <laughs> All right, so here we have, now it's a little bit longer of a vehicle, so there are three ties that I'm gonna snap off. There it is a little closer though, look at that. We got Slimer, which is great because in Ghostbusters Afterlife, I wasn't really a big fan of Chomper or Muncher or whatever the hell the little gray Slimer was. So here it is, let's go ahead and snap off those pieces right there. Okay, so taking off those easy ties, I now can slide him right out of the oven blister pack okay you know this is cool it reminds me of just getting a die cast car um, when I was younger you'd sometimes just get a die cast whether it was a, a race car a hot car, a matchbook match matchbox or a Hot Wheels car but there were also larger ones and they may be a replica of a famous car but that's what that feels like um, this is pretty solid actually I got to be honest this is gonna be perfect and like the DeLorean I will probably just um, have it on the shelf in this form and every now and then I'll fiddle with it and uh, I keep hitting my elbow on that that's annoying so um, I'll sometimes transform it of course but this will represent Ghostbusters and I'll know in my head where it counts that this is also a transformer now inside of course we saw it already but let me pop him out okay so here he is he is just a glob of translucent plastic Ah! Okay, so that's a little recreation of the movie when he uh, hits Bill Murray. So listen, this is actually cute as hell, and it is a little translucent plastic shape, just like a great little profile. Um, that's all he does. He is not um, he is not posable or anything, but I love him. He looks great. Perfect addition to it. Hello. Yeah, love a little Slimer addition, so that is what's there. So we're going to take a look at him a little closer in their uh, vehicle mode, and then they're going to transform and roll out. Here's Ecto-1 in his alt mode. Lots of gear on top. This equipment comes into place a little bit later. A lot part of the transformation, so I love that. Um, this is a gorgeous mold of Ecto-1 with the bright Ghostbusters logo on the side. A very long vehicle, so you know he's going to be a very long robot as well. There is a uh, Slimer who is on a post at the top of the equipment, so he does have a place to sit on, which just adds an extra element of fun. You can pop right off of there as well as the uh, the gun. The cannon here on the top can pop out. It will become the wand of the proton pack. A very unique sculpt and mold here that'll help turn this into uh, Ecto-1. Now, with the DeLorean Gigawatt here in his vehicle form, we see an exact replica of the, of the DeLorean. However, it is not licensable, so it doesn't have GMC on the front. It has the license plate out of time right there in the back. And, and some great sculpt of the wires and uh, the rest of the mechanics that make this vehicle special. Now, this vehicle is also special because it comes with a few accessories like this, Mr. Fusion. Now, Mr. Fusion can um, connect to the very back and 
make this look like Back to the Future 2. But also comes with a uh, lightning rod with hook from, of course, Back to the Future 1, the finale scene where they uh, get the lightning bolt to send him back to 1985. Now, if you want a true Back to the Future 2, you need to remove that lightning rod, of course. And you need to flip these wheels over. And they are a little loose, but they do work. You flip them down, you pull that lightning rod off, um, I will mention that Mr. Fusion is very loose, does not stay very well on the back, but here we have a replica of the DeLorean in Back to the Future 2 as a, as a uh, kind of a hover vehicle. Hey everybody, Victor here. If you like this kind of content or just having fun, please consider subscribing. Thanks. Well, we've seen them up close and personal in their vehicle mode, and these things look hot. Really great representations of these famous movie vehicles, but you know what it's time for. It's time to transform and roll out. All right. Wow, here they are. Boy, those transformations are pretty tricky, right? All right, let's take a close-up look at these guys in robot form. Gigawatt and Ecto-1. Wow, in robot mode, um, Gigawatt is fantastic. There is a place to put the lightning rod on his lightning rod on his arm, and Mr. Fusion connects to the back of the blaster and becomes the handheld gun for Gigawatt. They are not complex, but they are uh, dynamic transformations. And on his chest, under the flux capacitor, are three important dates that were visited by Doc Brown and Marty in the first two movies. He is a retool of Sideswipe, but he is completely original enough that you don't notice as much, and it's a fantastic sculpt. Now, when it comes to Ectotron, he is tall. He is a big guy, and I love about his color scheme. It is reminiscent of the jumpsuit, complete with a patch with his name on it, just like the other Ghostbusters. There is the wand for the proton pack, which all transforms from the equipment on top of the truck. The uh, sides of the car become kind of wings, and the transformation, again, not complex, but it is pretty cool. Lots going on. That ladder kind of hangs there at the end, which is a little strange that there isn't a place to hook it, um, but overall, the transformation good. Posability is great, and there he is ready to zap some ghosts, including Slimer right there, who again, non-posable rubber blob looks great. All right, so now it's time to get rid of these. Just a lot of junk. There's great artwork. They're very inspirational, but you can see these online, and I'm all here about the toys, so gotta get rid of them. Okay, uh, and on we go. Overall, I am thrilled at the look of both of these bots. They are very original looking and in transformation, even if they might share a part or two of another Transformer. Um, there was a 2020 version of Ectotron with a different mold on his face, also very rusty and old looking in reference to the new sequel, Afterlife. Well, these guys represent some of my favorite 80s movies that had such an impact on me. So that's how they're gonna be displayed in their vehicle mode on the toy shelf behind me, but they're awesome in robot mode too. Those are pretty hot up there, aren't they? I, I love these figures. I love the mashup, the crossing of the line. And um, I do have one more to get. So, you know, there's an X-Men and there is also a Top Gun version of the collaboration action figures, but not interested. My era is Jaws to Jurassic Park. So can you guess my last figure in the collaboration series to get? Well, stay tuned to see that and stay tuned to see the rest of my arrivals. I've got some folks coming to Jabba's Palace. I got some folks coming from Third Earth and I am about to start a toy restoration on my original mask figures from Kenner. So I'm looking forward to that. So uh, for right now though, go ahead and press that subscribe, like and comment to really give me some traction. Thanks for being here everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I gotta burn rubber because right now I'm out of time.